Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. So I have a box here. I don't want to show my address. I have a box here from Amazon because I ordered a face mask applicator kit type thing. You guys know that I've been doing a lot of face masks lately. Oh, by the way, before I get into that, I want to show off my bowl that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I want to thank the person who commented on my video. And her exact words were, that's a headband for a toddler, you psycho. To you. I love this headband. I think it looks super cute. And I am going to buy another one. And it comes in a different design. And I'm going to pick up that one too. So, anyway, I ordered this uh, face mask applicator kit. Oh, by the way, that person deleted their comment after they posted it. So, I guess they realized what a sad, sad person they were. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I ordered this from Amazon. I'm getting myself distracted. Ordered this from Amazon, and I'm hoping that it's going to help me apply... Um, the masks that I do, I've done a lot of paper masks and those are getting easier to do. Although the masks, the paper masks, the, that the paper masks do stick to themselves, but I'm talking about the masks that are just like jelly in a pouch, like the K-Bella masks or the Freeman masks that come in the tube. Um, and you just have to apply them with your fingers unless you have a mask applicator brush and uh, tools and stuff so this is my first time seeing this okay, this is what I ordered this is what it looks like okay so this was $7.99 it's made in China surprise surprise um and it's supposed to come with a bowl a brush some spoons and stuff so the bowl will be convenient because I could just squeeze out the mask essence into the bowl and then, um, yeah, squeeze out the mask essence into the bowl and then use the brush to apply the mask. And hopefully I'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, better than I usually do. So it comes with some stuff. This is not a bad deal for $7.99. They had different colors. Oh, so um, I think they said that um, you get like a random selection, like either you could get the pink and blue or it comes in orange and something. I don't know. So I got the pink and blue, which is what was in the picture. These look fancy. Okay, so let me open up the bowl first. Okay, so you get get this little bowl it's like little plastic look like a bowl for a doll okay so this is fine does it smell this of course i'm going to wash all this before i use it so you get a bowl to put your mask in then you get these little spoons you get a set of three little spoons this it's doesn't even it has this has a five on it this has a 15 on it, and this has a 2.5 on it. I don't know what that means. So was this a quarter of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, and I don't know. I, I, I don't know what those measurements mean. So anyway, I'm thinking this is for, uh, supposing you wanted to mix two masks together. I don't know. Maybe you want to put a certain amount of an aloe mask and a little bit of a charcoal mask and you want to create your own Franken mask, your Frankenstein mask. I don't know. But so you get these little spoons with a the bowl. Then you get a little um, spatula thing. Uh, this, I guess, is good for scooping out masks that come in a jar. And also... Um, for getting out, scraping out the mask that comes in a packet for scooping out all the insides. And then the most important part is you get two brushes. 
and these oh and then there's there's sponges so you get two brushes they look identical they're silicone brushes so they supposed to be easy to wash yeah so it's silicone so it's just a brush yeah it does smell like rubber so it's just a rubbery brush and it's very soft and I think this will be good for mask applications. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. And then you get a blue brush, which is weird because everything else in the set is pink. If they were going to do two colors, they should have made half the stuff blue and half the stuff pink. Like they could have made the the spoons blue, the spoons blue, or the little spatula blue, but they didn't. They made everything pink except this one lone brush. So you get this extra brush, I guess, if one wears out because they both look exactly the same to me. They are exactly the same. They're the same size and and everything okay so you get the two brushes and then you get a sponge I thought you got more than one but you don't you get one sponge it smells like a dirty sock just not a pleasant smell so I guess well yeah, it smells like a sock, and then it smells like, oh, it still smells like a sock. Anyway, so maybe when I do the masks that say remove the residue with a damp cloth, I could use this. Because this does not look like a sponge for cleaning off um, a, uh, what do you call it? One of those peel off masks, you know, when you, you peel off the mask, it says scrub off any residue of the remaining mask. I have micellar sponges from EcoTools that are really good for getting off masks. This does not seem like it would do that. This is a very soft plush sponge. This does not look like it's like good for removing a mask. This looks like this is for removing the residue after like those paper masks. So anyway, $7.99, I don't think that was that bad of a deal. Um, so let's go over it again. I'm very excited to try this out. So you get your bowl, your spoons. Please let me know what to do with these spoons. Do you mix masks together or do you add like extra aloe to a mask or extra uh, chamomile to a mask or what do you, vitamin E oil? Can you add that to a mask? What are those measuring spoons for? You get a little spatula, you get your two silicone brushes and you get your handy dandy sponge. So yeah, I think that's that is a good deal and we'll see how well this works next time I do a mask that is that is not paper yeah so that is my new mask applicator set very exciting so I should I should take a I'll, I will take a picture to demonstrate afterwards but yeah I can look extra psycho with my bow yeah anyway I don't even want to get into the comments that people say on YouTube and the stuff that's been happening on Instagram. Anyway, then while I have you guys here, I ordered some bookends. Let's see what they look like because I have tons of books from the Dollar Tree and my bookshelf is full and I don't know where to put these books. And... I can't get another bookshelf because I have no place to put another bookshelf. So I'm just going to have to put the books on my coffee table, but I needed bookends. So I got these bookends. These were like $6.99, I believe, $6 or $7.99. They were pretty reasonable. And you know, let me tell you, I'm surprised that they're this durable. 
they're stuck together with this this little thing here maybe they won't be as durable when they're apart um oh good i broke the thing the uh the snap off okay these seem pretty heavy duty um they had her they had her they had cuter ones that had like a little little men like it was like a little man and it looked like he was pushing the book up he was like this like a little stick figure man holding up the book but it was expensive it was like 24.99 or something so i was like nah i'm not spending that for for a little to have two little men holding up my books anyway yeah so um these are my new bookends fun okay so yeah i'm going to try out this mask set in another video i just want to do a quick video for you guys for those who were interested uh, and hopefully this will help my mask application in the future. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you all in a future video. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping Incense. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.